Today, we're going to be reviewing the Endurax 66 inch tripod. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy content about photography and videography, make sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date as I put out content each and every week. A couple months back, I reviewed the Endurax large DSLR backpack and the team at Endurax saw the review and reached out to me and see if I'd be interested in reviewing their 66 inch tripod. I told them that I'd be interested, but that I'd also be honest with my audience. I never want to be known as the content creator that just gives great reviews for all the products that I go over, as that's just not genuine in who I am. So they agreed and sent out the tripod, and after a little bit of time with it, I'm ready to give you a breakdown. This tripod comes in at $35 on Amazon and puts it in the race for a really great entry level tripod. Out of the gate, the packaging for this tripod is just a branded Endurax box with the included carry bag, which contains all of the contents included with the tripod. The bag is your average fabric zipper bag. Inside the bag are all the accessories and pieces required to assemble the tripod. It includes a phone mount, so you can either mount your phone in landscape or portrait mode, depending on how you plan to film with it. This phone mount is great if you want to use your phone to record your videos or you want to use your phone to live stream to Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're going to be live streaming. It also includes screw on feet that articulate to compensate for the surface of the ground underneath the tripod. I thought this feature was pretty cool as it allowed the tripod to stand up without falling over if you are on uneven terrain like a rocky cliff or forest path. It also includes the pan handle for the tripod head which allows you to tilt the tripod forward and backward. Now the basic features that Endurex promotes for this tripod are as follows. The tripod is listed as a 66 inch tripod, which it holds true to. With all of the legs extended and the center column cranked to max, you will reach its advertised 66 inch height. I'm not a fan of the crank style tripods as I'm used to pro Manfrotto's, which allow you to adjust your center column by loosening and raising the column by hand. But this isn't a deal breaker, especially if this is your first tripod. The Endurex sits at 18 inches when it's completely folded down, so it isn't a hassle to strap to the side of your pack as you venture out to go on a photo shoot or a hike in the woods. The tripod itself is made of aluminum and plastic and comes in at 3.35 pounds, so you will barely feel this tripod on your backpack. With its aluminum legs, it's not the most solid tripod compared to the thicker metal found on more premium priced models, but in my use, I haven't seen signs of buckling or bending. That is the only thing that worries me with the thickness and metal chosen, but if you keep your payload under the recommended maximum of 11 pounds, you should have nothing to worry about. The legs also feature flip locks in comparison to some tripods that offer twist locks. This style of locking mechanism is much easier to operate and the locks on the Endurax really snap into place, giving you the confidence that your tripod will keep your camera at the same height without slipping at all. I also extended the tripod a few feet and pressed down on top of it to see how it would hold under weight and I really had to put my body weight into it to get the legs to slip into each other. One of the legs also features a nice padded handle for you to grip onto while moving or adjusting your tripod, which isn't necessary, but I think it's a nice feature just for comfort's sake. At the bottom of the center column of the tripod, you will find a hook with which you can hang your camera bag or sandbag for added stability if you need your camera still for a very long time when recording video, time lapses, or long exposures, and the weather is windy and you don't want your camera to move at all. I love this type of feature on a tripod, and it just gives you a little bit more security for the potential of thousands of dollars you will be placing on top of your tripod. Also near this hook is a locking mechanism to keep your center column in place once the tripod is unfolded. Now let's talk about the tripod head. On the head, you will find your typical base plate that comes with most entry level tripods. These types of plates are my biggest gripes with budget tripods, as I like to have quick release plates on all of my cameras, like the universal Arca Swiss type, which make it easy to switch between monopods, tripods, gimbals, and all other accessories that you would want to have your camera mounted to. Missing that on this model would require me to completely replace the head if I was going to use it every day, or attach a quick release plate on top of this plate just for it to be fully functional in my workflow. It, along with the rest of the head, is made with plastic, so I'm not sure how this tripod would hold up after a few falls, which is inevitable when using it for any long period of time. It's got your typical pan handle, which allows you to pan your camera with an 180 degree angle, 
as well as pan your camera from side to side when you loosen the knob on the side of the tripod. It pans decently, but there are some points where it feels like there's some friction inside of the tripod and it causes the camera to jump as you're panning it from side to side. So I would reserve this tripod for photography use unless you don't need to use panning for your video. This head also allows you to tilt your camera to 90 degrees to allow you to take portrait oriented photos while still on the tripod. So who do you think this tripod is ideal for? If you're just getting started with photography or looking into making a YouTube channel and don't wanna have to spend too much money on a tripod, this tripod is perfect for you. It has almost every feature that you'd want in a pro tripod at a very reasonable price. Although it does have the downside like the aluminum build and the plastic components, I can tell that you will get plenty miles out of this tripod, especially for the price tag that you're getting into it at. If you can look past the sticky panning and the quick release plates, lack of universality, I can see this tripod being perfect for any landscape or wildlife photographer who's just starting out or a studio photographer who's in need of a tripod. If I could add any features to this tripod, I would move away from the crank style center column. I also think that maybe moving to a more widely used quick release plate could also benefit other photographers and open up its use to a wider audience because I've stated at this price point, it's well built and holds up better than other items that I've ordered off of Amazon within this price range. What are your thoughts on this tripod after watching this review? Let me know what you think about this Endurex tripod in the comments below. Are you sold and could you see yourself purchasing it? If so, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below and you'll be able to help support the channel without any extra cost to you. Thanks again to the folks at Endurex for sending this out for me to review and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.